Greetings Adventures, it's Lauren Gaming, and I'm coming at you with another Japanese livestream news video. As always, I want to thank uh, the unofficial Dynamo Discord for providing translations. This time it's Crow Armburst uh, doing them. And uh, by the way, Crow Armburst is the name of a character from a JRPG series that I really like, the Trails series. Uh, Trails of Cold Steel to be specific to where Crow Armburst appears. And I actually have the imported copy of the third game, and hopefully we get the English version of that soon. But enough about that, you guys want to hear about Don Memo. So, thanks again to the unofficial Don Memo Discord. A link will be in the video description. Now, as you can see here, I presented uh, everyone with a picture of Ryu because this upcoming update is very relevant to Ryu, my favorite character. So let's get on into it, but... Uh, that's going to be a little bit later on in the news. First of all, this is something that might not be relevant for English players because we have heard nothing about this campaign in specific. This is the six star equipment campaign uh, in Japan. It's lasting from August 31st to September 5th. And uh, based on the amount of six star equipment that have, that's been crafted in the uh, game, uh, players will be getting rewards in their mailbox. If 2000 have been crafted, 500k values will be added to the mailbox. If it's 5,000, an additional 1 million on top of that. And if 10,000 pieces of 6-star equipment have been crafted, they will also get 100 Eris. And I just want to re-emphasize, this has not been confirmed for the English players, so don't count on this, but it would be nice to get some Valus and some Eris, because we've been using a lot this past week with all this stuff that's been going on right now. And finally, guys, the meat of this video right here is going to be focused on this because everyone knows Ryu is my favorite character, and I've been talking about this ever since we got the first part of Episode Ryu, but the second part of Episode Ryu is going to launch on 9-7 in Japan, so September 6th here, and this is going to be based on the Girl Meets Girls chapter in the light novel. This is the second part of the light novel. The first part was that casino story that was covered uh, in chapters 1-3 through three in the game, this is going to be uh, chapters 4 through, through whatever. But I'm really happy about this, and I'm just going to give you a sneak preview of what to expect uh, from my book here. So Girl Meets Girls, it's going to be the story of uh, how Ryu ends up being a waitress at the Benevolent Mistress, or Hostess of Fertility, whatever translation you use for the pub. And uh, the other girls in that story are obviously Seer, Chloe, Anya, and Lunar. Which would give us a great excuse for a four-star looter like I'm always talking about. There's uh, Chloe and Runa right there. And that's all you're going to see. Because I don't want to spoil anything that you're just going to find out when you play through the episode yourself when that launches on September 6th. And again, this is going to be a campaign that has not yet been confirmed for English players. But it is worth talking about if it does happen. And for anyone else to actually plays a Japanese version of the game. So... Based on the amount of players that have actually completed Chapter 310 of Episode Ryu on Normal, there will be rewards given out. If 10k players have cleared through the content, then they will get one free star ticket. If that number is 20k players, they will get one free 11 draw. And if that number is 50k players, 50,000 people witnessing the glory that is Best Girl Ryu. What, a, what an amazing number. <laughs> But if that 50k milestone is reached, then players will be getting a daily free 11 draw for an unspecified amount of time. Now, what these free 11 draws are going to be on banner-wise, we do not know yet. That will be announced at a later date if they do reach that. My guess is there's going to be a banner based on the second half of episode review with a 4-star Lunar. Just saying. Hopefully that's the case. Please. Please. 4-star Lunar. She deserves it. Everyone else has it. Except her. And here's something that's super exciting for you players out there. Otter's coming back to Record Buster. He returns after two weeks of Bravaria. Now, this is what I was thinking was going to happen. Like, when Record Buster started, all we had was Otter. And then we had him for, like, eight straight ones. And then we got two Bravarias. So, what I believe is happening is that we're just going to be alternating between the two. So it doesn't get stale. Because... I doubt you guys wanted to play through eight straight uh, record busters of Bavaria like we did with Otter, so going between the two is the correct choice until we get possibly another boss in the future. And finally, we had some updates on the current debutante event. On September 6th, we're going to get additional equipment enhancement items added to the event shop, and that's really nice because I myself have been running out of uh, equipment enhancement items for my weapons and armor, which would be really helpful uh, 
for War Games and the upcoming Record Buster, so that's very much appreciated. And on September 13th, uh, you guys may have noticed, if you've been clearing through the debutante event, the last three quests are locked. On September 13th, those quests will be unlocked and they will be able to give you the gold presents that so far we have been unable to obtain. And with those gold presents, they'll be adding uh, items into the shop for exchange for those. Gnome tickets, two-star tickets, additional equipment enhancement materials, and Valis will be added to the shop. And also, there will be time limits and missions added into the game based on your gold present milestones. So any additional rewards we're getting is very much appreciated. And concerning the debutante event, some of you guys may not notice, but it actually seems to take place after Volume 6 of Sword Oratoria, which has not been yet adapted by the anime. Uh, the anime has actually only adapted up to the end of Volume 4 in Sword Oratoria, so it's very interesting that uh, previously the game has not been adapting beyond the anime, but this debutante event seems to be happening after Volume 6 of Sword Oratoria, so that's very, very interesting. Uh, speaking of additional content being added to the game, uh, we're going to see a plethora of that as soon as the movie and Season 2 comes out, but that's not going to happen until next year. And I only bring up the movie and Season 2 because currently it seems like we're not getting content that uh, is in the light novels, but not uh, covered by the anime yet. So this is a really weird spot to be in where they reference stuff that happens in the later light novels that has not been adapted yet by the anime. So that's very interesting when we might see more content that acknowledges stuff uh, from the light novels, like hinting at it, but not exactly spoiling you what happens. But guys, if you enjoy the characters or the story that you see in Dammo, I highly encourage you to read the light novels because they are just fantastic. The story just gets even better and better uh, from what you remember in the anime. The stakes get higher. Uh, you, it may get emotional like I have been getting uh, with the most recent volumes of the main series. Oh my, it's, it's just quite a ride. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. And if you do like content like this, give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. If you want to stay updated on what I'm doing, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. And join my Discord for just questions and general chat. And as always guys, continue enjoying your time adventuring in Rario and the dungeon. This is Lauren Gaming and I'm signing out.